Stardew Valley journey. And there's going to be a bit of readjustment today. Sounds like it's raining outside. Partially cloudy with a light breeze. Sounds like rain. Or is that the weather for tomorrow? Okay, let's see what the living off the land tip is today. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. It's salmon berry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with juicy little berries. And they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. Ah, uh, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Well, that's good to hear. But as I was saying, it's going to take a, a bit. I know it was raining, so that must have been the weather forecast for tomorrow. Okay, let's read this real quick. Hello, dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener. So I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out. So plan ahead. Granny Evelyn. As I was saying before, I kept getting interrupted by myself. It's going to take a little bit of readjustment. It has been, I think, probably close to two weeks since I last played Stardew Valley. Glad to see my cauliflowers are ready to harvest. But uh, behind the scenes, I've been recording a lot of gameplay of Metroid Prime. Remastered, and my inventory is full. Let's see, got some gold stars, that's nice. But I've been playing a lot of Metroid Prime Remastered lately, so it kind of been putting uh, Stardew Valley on hold while I got some of those videos recorded. But life's been a little stressful lately. So, I thought that playing Stardew Valley would be a nice, relaxing way to end my day. And also, I know this is all completely off, because there's a lag behind when I record these videos, when they get uploaded, obviously. But I launched my channel yesterday, so as this video is being recorded, there are six videos currently on my YouTube channel. I don't have a whole lot of views. I think I'm offering at around 19 or 20 views total between all of them. I just uploaded the first three videos yesterday, and then I uploaded three today. I think these are the salmon berries right here. And uh, so yeah, the channel is officially out. I think I'm still working on branding and still have a lot to figure out, obviously, as I'm just getting started. But the, I'd kind of been going back and forth, but the uh, channel is officially called Whisper Gaming ASMR. And the name I'm going by is simply just Whisper. So, in these videos, at least for the foreseeable future, just be referring to myself as Whisper. Did I have a bream that I was supposed to get to someone? Yes, I need to bring the wizard a bream. My inventory is quite full, I see. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. That's exciting with me. I'm glad to finally have the channel. It's going to take a long time to build up viewers, but if you're watching this right now, you're helping me make it happen, and that means a lot to me. I cannot overstate how much I appreciate that, even though watching a YouTube video may seem small and insignificant to you. Uh, just 
just the fact that you're watching something that I put time and effort into creating um, really does mean a lot to me. And that's the whole reason I'm making these in the first place is to is for other people like you to enjoy. So, thank you. And, uh, so this day is probably not going to be very efficient since I kind of forgot what I was doing. I hope that's not too annoying. But I'm going to go try to give the wizard a bream. I don't know why I did that when my inventory is full. But I did learn that you can drop stuff instead of having to throw everything away. You can drop stuff on the ground. And I think I read that it persists for like two days. So that's good that I don't need to throw away stuff anymore if my inventory is full. Oh, I have crab pots too. I completely forgot about those. Okay, well, let's give the wizard this bream first. Uh, there are a lot of salmon berries. The salmon berries don't sound with the flavor of the forest. Let's say the salmon berries don't sound very uh, appetizing. And here we go. Ah, uh, the item I requested. Your work was satisfactory. Here is your compensation. If I were to tell you to... I didn't read what that said. Where's my compensation? Oh, I get it up here, I forgot. 135 gold. this. Well, what else should we do with this day that has been given to us? How much coal? Okay. Oh, I think I, I think I can finally go and uh, buy the backpack upgrade. I think I'm going to do that because this inventory capacity starting to get very old, never having any space, so let's go finally buy the backpack upgrade. I think a lot of people would typically have the backpack earlier in their playthrough than uh, day 15. From watching other Stardew Valley videos, it seems like the goal to get it is really not that much. I was reinvesting a lot of it back into my farm, and uh, that kind of slowed me down from acquiring the backpack, but you know what, this game, this uh, playthrough is meant to be relaxing, so it's not going to be the most efficient, and if it takes me over two weeks to get a bag, so be it. And look at that. You got the large bag pack. Your inventory space has increased to 24. And how much do these salmon berries go for? 70 total. Is that 70 total or 70 each? They go for 5 apiece. That's not worth selling. Okay. How many more days are there in the season? she like a salmon berry? What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, my bad. I'm really bad at giving gifts in this game. Well, at least I can go give the rusty spur to Gunther. And... Do I have... A, I think I might have had enough copper, actually, to uh, upgrade one of my tools, I think. If not, I'm just wasting a bunch of time right now running back to my farm. Which 
which is definitely not out of the question. I have three. Crap, I think I definitely need more than three. Well, dang it. I think that was a waste of time then. Okay, at least I can... Nope, there's not space. Well, let's go drop off this, give this spur to Gunther. Then we will stop by the beach to see if uh, there's anything of value there. And then we will see how much time's left in the day. Much like in real life, the days in this game seem to go by far too quickly. Let me look at the calendar. One, things in the ground soon. I should have more than enough time. Oh, is there any, like, speed grow? Guaranteed to increase growth rate by at least 10%. Increasing your chances, okay. 100, yeah, I'm not going to spend 100 on that. How much is this next one? 10,000, jeez. Also, Level 40 in the mines and build a coop. Which, if I remember correctly, the coop is pretty expensive. It's okay, I think level 6. I can't, I think, is it a flower shop or something that opens up in the summer? I can't remember. So wondering, I'm just getting those doubts that I think everybody gets at the beginning of any new type of endeavor or adventure of if these videos are even going to provide ASMR tingles to anyone. Obviously, I just launched yesterday. I know that it's going to be a slow start and that this is the long game. I can't help but get doubts um, that no one's going to like these videos or the market's so oversaturated. Who is that guy? Um, that these videos are just never going to get seen and that I'm wasting my time. But I do enjoy making them, so even if nothing comes of this, it's not too big of a loss, and at least I tried. But anyway, let's talk to this random stranger instead of uh, doubting myself. Old Mariner, I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, lad. Okay, he's just going to say that. Maybe he'd like a salmon berry. Well, he won't take a salmon berry. I'll try to catch a fish. Why not? Nice. But yeah, anyway, I've been doubting if this channel will ever become anything. I've seen other ASMR gaming channels, which, again, it's a pretty small niche within a niche. But uh, I've looked at other ones run by men since 
they seem to be quite different than um, channels run by women and other gaming channels by guys. One of them I saw has like 1400 videos that the guys uploaded in the past like year or two. Like he uploads almost every day. And he only has like 30,000 subscribers, which I mean, obviously, I'd be pumped to have 30,000 subscribers. But that's just. That's a lot of videos for a relatively small channel. But yeah. We'll see how this goes. I'm in it for the long haul, so I just hope I get a few little wins here and there to uh, keep me inspired so I don't get too uh, down on myself. But yeah, if anyone does watch this again, always open to feedback on how to make them better. And probably, uh, I can imagine some of the first feedback I get would be stop spending so much time asking for feedback in your videos, talk about something else, but I don't know what you guys want to hear, or what you want to hear. Maybe uh, you have doubts about yourself too, or you uh, don't know what to do sometimes, and you find this relatable. I don't know. So, yeah, that's just my ramble. Hopefully you're just enjoying the sounds of me whispering, and you're not even really listening to the words I'm saying. Uh, a lot of the times I, uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but anyway, let's go check, oh nice, we got more squiggly worms or whatever these things are. Nice, another lost book, but let's uh, go empty out my crap pots. Then it might be nighttime already. No, I gotta get these uh, potatoes and cauliflower in the ground. More sand. Wow, these sand and berries really are everywhere. So I'd like to know if you like hearing the sound of my breathing or if it's annoying and or creepy. Because I don't know if I should be trying not to breathe into the microphone or if that's another trigger that some people enjoy. Because I can throw away this trash even though I think at one point you eventually get something that you put trash into. I think it's like a recycling machine almost. And uh, it turns the trash into useful items, but there's probably no point to hold on to trash until I get that item. That'd probably accumulate a lot of trash. Okay, let's see. Do I have any torches? Coral. I need to make more chests, I think. you could just scroll through these without having to go back. Okay. Well, clearly I don't need that one. There's the one with all the fish. Winter. Okay, I already did the spring foraging bundle. Okay, fish tank. Where did I catch that? sound I just made with my mouth. Crap, I didn't put a bream in. Dang it. I need to get one of those. Alright, did the crap pot bundle. Oh, do I have any? Do I have wood? Let's grab a couple of 
stays for a while. Okay. Now oh, it's 11.20. I guess I could chop down some trees. I can always use more wood and sap. I think I need to plant some trees, though, because I don't want to cut them all down and then not have any wood actually finding a way to make money to build that coop. Nice cookies. Dear Bob, how are you doing, sweetie? I've missed you so much since you left. I hope the farming life is everything you hoped for. Love, Mom. I sent your favorite cookies. Oh, well, that's sweet. I'll put those there so I don't accidentally eat them. Dear neighbor, 
settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierce Store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Pierre. Well, how kind of him to let me know. But I can craft my own fertilizer. Pierre. Okay, how could I go make money today? These are only worth five gold a piece. That's not a good way. Oh, I gotta water my crops. I just need to lend these crops. Come, I need to sell them instead of. Oh, I guess I actually have some crops hoarded. But I need to sell some stuff without buying more seeds. So I can save up for a coop. And then I'm going to have to deal with animals, which are a whole nother level of chores I'm going to have to deal with. Snap City over here. I wonder, is there any difference in the selling price? everything and see what we got and then take it from there okay we have seven gold parsnips which okay oh nice I can go finish that off I can go put that in let's see I don't have any of this stuff yet
today. They can throw some stuff in the, uh, the shipping box to sell. Let's see if there's any uh, new quests or, or whatever. Whatever these would be called. Deliveries. I'm looking for someone to bring me 20 copper ore for inspection. You can keep the ores after you Okay, those are ores, not... Okay, those are bars. Maybe I could go do that. Yeah, let's go. It's still relatively early in the day. Let's drop off this stuff. And then go check out the mine, even though it's not the most relaxing thing to do in this game. I also noticed when I was logging back into the save, my previous save, and uh, the furthest I've gotten this game is fall of year two. I said a sea urchin. So I haven't got that far in this game. Reward friendship. Oh, I guess I've got, I don't even know if that's considered decently far far compared to this, but uh, I have never, I have not got close to the end of this game, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Sorry, crap thing. Oh, nice. Oh, that worked out well. Let's check. Oh, yeah, coppery. Oh, crap, those freaking things. I say, I think you know when you're going to get copper ore. And nothing. Okay, let's get the heck out of this level. Let's see, already what? 
Rhymes, right? Once they start coming, they don't stop coming. I think. Oh, nice. And my inventory is full. Shit. I shouldn't eat mom's cookies yet, should I? Okay, I guess I get to eat. Sneaky. reminded me. I think the next game I'm going to get on into on his channel. Oh shit. These things turn into those flies so I gotta kill them like as quick as possible. Well. Shit. this regenerates. Like if I go back down to level 10. Let's see. Is this new or is this the same one I was already on? Let's see. There we go. Come on. Give me a few copper. I'm going to be like too short. This sucks. Get back. 
as rushed as I thought it'd be. Let's see here. I'll keep that in my inventory just in case it is a while before I play again. Nice to replenished the quartz and um, earth crystal that I donated. That worked out well. But the amethyst. old tree that I like to end my days at 11 o'clock just going out to the field and dropping down a good old tree than like other types of wine. Let's drop that in the box. Dough, potato, cauliflower. Just see how much the raw rice goes for. sturdy ring and a bug steak. Yuck. Oh, damn. That's not too shabby at all. Wow, those potatoes go for quite a bit. Cauliflower. Not bad. Unmilled rice. That's actually not that bad. I wonder how much milk. 
kale goes for a lot. Can I grow more kale? Damn. Well, anyway, so much for day 15 and 16, starting to get back on track. Um, hopefully I will play a lot more of this again soon or get back into playing this more. So I can get into a flow. Yeah, I was pretty focused on Metroid Prime, so the first video of that um, series I uploaded today. I'm doing the Metroid Prime videos with and without game audio in the background because I'm not sure what people would prefer. And yeah, next week I should have a lot more time than usual because my uh, significant other is traveling, so. I will uh, probably record a lot of videos next week and have quite a backlog, so more Stardew Valley, more Metroid Prime, and potentially some uh, Slime Rancher. I was considering playing Pokey MMO. I also got Pokemon Snap. I recorded one video with Pokemon Snap, but it didn't come out very good. So I'm going to give it another try and see if it's a good game to play. And then I was also considering playing online chess, even though I'm not very good. But I know a lot of people like chess, and that's kind of a relaxing game, and I could talk through my thought process and stuff, so we'll, we'll see what I come up with. But anyway, I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and or subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And leave any feedback of how I can improve so I can better serve you, but again, thanks for spending time.